write a winning scholarship essay. Hello, Maya here, and I will be answering more of your scholarship questions. Okay, so today's question is about scholarship essays and scholarship letters. What do you do to get the best one? And what do you do to stand out in a pool, in a large pool of applicants? Okay, so I have five steps for you. The first step is to tell your story. So explain to the selection committee, the people who are reading your essays, explain to them what has happened in your life up until now to make you want this scholarship. Why do you need this scholarship? Hmm. Paint a picture, tell a story. Then explain what you have done in your life to deserve the scholarship. Have you been volunteering? Have you been giving back to others? Why should they give you the scholarship out of all the other students who are applying? Okay, number two, step two would be to show how you will better serve others with the resources and skills you will gain from the scholarship program. So I'll tell you a little secret, scholarship committees love to see students who give back to their communities and who serve others. Nobody wants to give money to a self-absorbed student who thinks the world revolve, revolves around them. So to explain to them how you will use this money, how you will use the support from the scholarship program to help and support others. Get creative with it. Well, and also think about what is the scholarship about? For example, um, I got a scholarship from the State Department to study Arabic in Oman um, in 2013. And in that scholarship, I, I wrote about how I was going to use my new improved Arabic skills to tutor other students on my college campus. Um, this showed that when they invested in me, when they, when they gave that money to me, that it wouldn't just stop at me. I, I was going to spread that around. You know, they love to see that. They love to see people who will carry on that scholarship, that scholarships mission, that that tradition or whatever the scholarship is about. That's just one example. Another example would be maybe there's a scholarship dedicated um, to saving abused animals. So in that scholarship essay, you would write about, well, you know, how you're going to later use that scholarship money or that relief that scholarship gave you to go volunteer at the SPCA or something like that. You get my drift. Okay, um, step three would be to highlight all of your activities and goals relevant to the scholarship's mission or theme. So have you participated in any clubs, any activities outside of school that are relevant to that scholarship's mission? Again, I can go back to the, to the Arabic example or to the the, the abused animals example, right? And are you working towards undertaking any activities related to the scholarship's mission, but you need additional help, right? So if you were naturally planning to go and, well, let's say like save endangered animals, you wanted to save some pandas in China, and you came across a, a scholarship that was all about saving endangered animals, you would explain in that scholarship how you had already been planning to do this in this scholarship. You just came across the scholarship and now you have to have the scholarship because it's going to support you in achieving a goal that you've already set for yourself. That's an example. OK, um, step four would be to clearly convey how you will use the scholarship in your current and future work. So how will this scholarship help you now and how will the scholarship bring you closer to your ultimate career and academic goals? What are those goals? Figure them out and figure out a way to tie in the scholarship with your goals. Make it relevant. Get creative if, if you have to. And then finally, step five is to wrap it all up and to get your essay in the application proofread and edited by someone who knows what they're doing. A lot of schools, a lot of libraries, and a lot of universities, I, I, 
would say like most universities and colleges have some type of writing support system, have some type of workshop where you can get your essays peer reviewed or you can get a professional to look at your essay because you don't you don't you, you don't want to have those grammatical mistakes and you know silly things that will um turn the selection committee or turn the readers off from your scholarship well you know there are my five tips i i hope that these were helpful um if you'd like to know anything else please leave me a comment write a message communicate with me tell me what you want to know and i will um i'll do my best to deliver There is even better information and strategies that will help you get paid to be a student and get a lot more scholarship money. Now, with that said, I have something very valuable to share with you. I put together an ebook that shows you the exact steps I took to get over $1 million in scholarships as a high school senior. The ebook is 100% free and you can access it by clicking the link below in the description. Or you can type into your browser www.scholarrevolution.com. Again, you can type into your browser www.scholarrevolution.com.